doing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day again here in Washington. Still here in the Olympia area at our friend's house, staying in the backyard. And uh, there is a construction site just a uh, it's like a couple of blocks away. It's like a major, uh, they're like building a senior community. <laughs> a senior community. <laughs> it's really big. It's like uh, four or five floors or something. And last time we were here, uh, it was really loud because they were, you know, in a different stage of, of construction. So really noisy before. And this time, it's nice. You just occasionally hear like a, beeping of a vehicle backing up or a little hammering or whatever <laughs> but it's not bad at all olive is grazing her morning graze uh olive often eats grass she's just a grass eater it doesn't mean that she's about to be sick or anything uh every day that we're around grass she eats grass and i think maybe it's because she was born and uh Spent most of her life in the desert. <laughs> she's just making up uh, for lost time. <laughs> just kidding. I have no idea why she eats so much grass. Uh, so we ended up not going to the parade, which is a bummer. There's a, um, I don't know if it was actually a parade, but it's a little thing where people dressed up like bugs and animals. And I wish we would have gone, but the person who invited us, uh, she ended up not being able to go. And then... It was in a part of town further away than we expected, and anyway, it didn't happen. Um, next time. And I'm gonna do something today that I don't normally do. I'm going to cook breakfast. Uh, I've been doing intermittent fasting for the most part um, for the last few months, and I've really uh, felt great doing it. Unfortunately, got a little derailed in the last month or so, I've been trying to get back into it, and I've been on and off. Um, when I eat in the morning, I am hungry all day long. And when I don't eat until lunchtime or even, you know, two, one, two, three o'clock, I eat so much less, and I'm able to keep weight off better. So I probably will get back to that point eventually, but today I'm hungry and I'm going to make breakfast. <laughs> Now, this is not keto friendly or anything like that, but I'm making chilaquiles. But I'm making it just with the ingredients that I have, which are limited. You gotta mix in the chips. You gotta kind of fold them in. And that uh, warm salsa. And I put a little, some water in there too. You could do broth if you had it. But that uh, warm salsa will soften those chips and and then you add a little cheese if you want. I'm actually going to add Parmesan cheese because I don't have any other sort of cheese. Um, I'm gonna put some avocado and I'm not sure if I'm gonna fry the eggs or just scramble them. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. Just a delicious little Mexican breakfast. It's why did I buy such odd chips? <laughs> because really they are. Although they are tasty. Um, but I bought these at the grocery outlet uh, bargain market, uh, which is, I think, mostly just on the West Coast. Uh, but it's a great place. Um, they always have different stuff. It's kind of, um, they have like closeouts and things that are close to expiration and stuff like that. So you get crazy good deals. Um, I think, well, October 12th, so they're not short dated but maybe they just weren't very popular at the regular store but i think these this small bag of chips goes for something like four dollars and i got them at grocery outlet which i um uh, which i call gross out <laughs> but, uh, just not because it's gross but it's just a funny name but i got these for 50 cents a bag so that's a good deal check out this beautiful plate so I just kind of scrambled the eggs. I didn't even really scramble them very well, but they are good. Look at that, I love green onions. So there's tons of those. And this avocado is ugly, I'm sorry. It kind of uh, blemishes the plate a little bit, but 
uh, I had a couple avocados and they were both too ripe. So I had to kind of scrape out the good parts. And normally if I had it, I would put some lime juice, fresh lime juice on this. And I don't have that. So I'm going to put a little apple cider vinegar and I'm going to put it right over the, uh, the avocado. Just, just a bit. And that'll add a, a little more acidity to this. Um, you could definitely use some hot sauce. I think I will dig some out. And that is one delicious meal. So good. Is really, really good. And not bad for just kind of throwing together what I had. Yeah, even the avocado is good, even though it's a little bit brown. <laughs> Yum. That was Mumu barking, just in case you've never heard it before. <laughs> barking at the cat, Lucy. You silly guy.